Hello and welcome to another custom figure video. Today I'll be showing you three of the Doctor's Companions, two classic and one new series, um, which is of course made from the buying an extra set of the Companions of the Fourth Doctor, which has recently come out from B&M. And as you can see, these are the corresponding bodies that I've used to make Sarah, Romana and River Song. So, we'll look at um, the easiest first, which is of course the head swap for River Song. Like I said, uh, River Song was definitely the easiest. This is of course made for the Time of Angels look. Not perfect camouflage, but the body does look quite similar. Uh, we just bring a Weeping Angel in there. Um, like I said, this is just a head swap. This is actually the head I've had spare from um, my astronaut for a while. Um, uh, that's why I have slightly lighter hair. And of course the head is just blue tacked and balanced on top. So it is simply just a head swap because I had this body spare from where I made my Sarah Jane. As much as I love Genesis of the Daleks, and I really do, it's one of my first classic stories I ever saw, um, I much prefer her um, yellow coat look compared to uh, the army get-up that she had in um, Genesis of the Daleks. So that's what I did, using of course the, um, the newest Vomana figure, which was actually, funny enough, originally used for Sarah Jane in the first place, the body. Um, I was able to take off the scarf, boil and pop the heads off of both the other figures and then switch them, well, switch Sarah Jane's head onto this body. Um, and then it was just a repaint from there, which I'll take you through now. So, looking at the head first, this wasn't changed at all. Uh, this was, like I said, just a, simply a re-swap, uh, swap over from the um, Genesis body that we got with the set. So moving down to the um, the coat, this is of course just being painted a yellow, but in order to get away with the um, the pink and the pink details that were on the original Romana figure, I did originally paint the coat white and then painted the um, the bright yellow on top. I later realised that that yellow was very, uh, very yellow, so I just did a little bit of just a grey wash over the top just because she spends most of her time in the um, Centauran experiment uh, rolling around in mud and especially at the start of um, Genesis the Daleks as well so yeah just to make it a little bit dirtier I gave it that, that grey wash uh, the, the, um, the yellow continues down to her trousers because um, the version I was going for is when she wears um, like yellow um, waterproofs that match the coat and then moving down a little bit further we just have the um, the red Wellingtons which is simply just the normal uh, boots painted red still got some of the buckles on there but um, I think it worked quite well and again I've given it that wash just to make them a bit dirtier to um, to match the um, the coat so moving on to the jumper now which like uh, I did originally think I was going to sort of um, milliput and sculpt a jumper on top but instead I just went for painting the, over the top of the bare chest um, after removing the little skirt piece that was originally down here which is definitely just with this body here uh, it's not completely painted because you don't need to when the coat is closed but this was just a grey and then some white lines very carefully done with my well my original my blue pen which I just dabbed into white paint and then um, did the white lines and um, when they still had some ink in it that's why I did those two little blue triangles on top just to get the impression of her grey jumper which you can hardly see under the yellow coat anyway and um, yeah I'm quite happy with that and of course this Sarah Jane looks really good when placed next to the Centauran and Harry from last year's B&M sets so overall, I'm extremely happy with how this figure came out. Um, it's much more the Sarah Jane I remember from the classic series. Um, I just need to now try and find myself a Genesis 4th Doctor with his big coat to go with these two here. Next we move on to um, Romana from more of an approximation of what she wore in State of Decay. Um, this was just because I had um, a few bodies left over. Of course, this was originally made from the spare uh, Romana 1 body. Um, and it was a head swap from, um, of course, her body in um, D 
Destiny of the Daleks. Uh, does make her a little bit taller than her Destiny of the Daleks body, but I do think maybe this body is a little bit short for this particular Romana. Uh, and then overall, it was mostly just a repaint. This original Romana, the second one, did come with a white shirt, which is what she wears. I didn't worry about sculpting on her black necktie because the shirt collar is open. So just moving on to painting. So painting is very very simple. I simply just painted the or the jacket and the trousers a beigey pinky colour like she wears in that story. And that was essentially it for that figure. I left the shoes white because she actually wears white shoes in that story. So that's that's it for painting. So like I said, this was just because I had the spare body left over and I wanted another Romana on the shelf. So it's just an approximation of what she wore in State of Decay, rather than an exact outfit. Um, I don't have a Season 18 Tom Baker, but when put next to this particular Fourth Doctor, uh, she does look quite good. And like I was saying before, I think maybe the height difference between these two is much closer to the real actors than maybe the Sarah Jane body that they used for the B&M set. So yeah, like I said, I, I am happy with how this one looks. I just need to get myself a Season 18 Tom Baker to go with this one as well. So that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I really hope you liked it. And if you did, there's plenty more on my channel as well as figure animations and trailers. Um, and I'm still working on Parallel Series 3, so listen out for uh, when that's around. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.